Alrighty, welcome back guys. I've got the Fusion 180 Smart and it's time to fly it. Um, I'm very impressed with this little guy so far. Uh, right from the factory, I've done nothing to the model. It's right out of the box and I think it's pretty close to perfect, which is um, you know, always nice um, to get a blade heli that doesn't really require any um, mechanical setup or anything like that. I'm very impressed with the setup out of the factory. It's really, really nice. And of course, this does have telemetry as well, showing 16.7 volts in the battery, temperature, RPM, and all that really cool stuff. It gives you a little battery uh, em um, uh, logo or emblem or whatever that shows you how full your battery is. Uh, so uh, that's awesome uh, that this thing has telemetry. It seems to work really well. And of course, when your battery starts to get low, my transmitter will start to beep. And so uh, the telemetry has been working uh, flawlessly. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no mechanical setup, just right out of the box. I haven't done anything, haven't changed any gains or anything like that. Uh, the only thing is that in uh, flight mode one, I'll be at 90% on the throttle curve. So let's go ahead and take off and fly around in normal mode. It's a pretty slow spool up. And uh, I haven't touched any sticks, so it's not wobbling or anything like that. It's very stable. Um, and that goes back to the tune. Uh, it's got a really good tune on it from the factory. So no tail wag, no vibrating or anything like that, which is really, really nice. It always sucks whenever your model comes out of the box and it requires a whole lot of tuning, but this one doesn't, not for me at least. So normal mode, low RPMs. This is, you know, you can change the RPM setting to whatever you want. This is just the manual. The 6250 uh, flies, uh, I think it's perfect for this model. Um, I definitely think this flight controller is better than the original Fusion 180. Um, it feels better, it feels more locked in, it feels smoother. Um, so yeah, the flight controller I'm a huge fan of. Tons of rotor control and there's tons of cyclic control on this heli as well. Um, but if you're a beginner and you wanted to put around in normal mode in low rates, um, it's pretty friendly. It's not screaming at you or anything like that and you should get really good flight time. So The orange is very, very easy to see as well. So um, I like the orange better than I do the yellow personally. Um, so that's cool. Alright, let's go into uh, stunt mode one 90 percent here bring it over to you guys show you that there's no uh you know vibrating or anything like that rock solid very very smooth the tail is wagging uh anything like that so it's a very stable just very stable little heli So if you want to fly around sport, you're more than welcome. It's quick, it's agile, um, it, it's, it's, you know, predictable. It's a predictable little helicopter. But it flies around sport just fine. Um, the blade tracking on my model is great. Tail holds wonderfully. Uh, the tail doesn't slip out for me at all. Come back over here. <laughs> it doesn't have all the most uh, collective power. Uh, so if you do bog it down too much, as you saw there, it slows the head speed down a whole lot. But anyway, it's very, very stable. So I mean, 
you can really reach out and just touch it. Ah, where are you going? Come back here. Kind of reach out and touch it. <laughs> mm. All right. One of the things I want to show you guys now is the bailout. So actually, let's let's do it really low um, because the bailout works very quick. So uh, bailout is on the button here. So let's uh, put it inverted, and I need it to ride itself. Now you do have to control the collective, um, but just uh, you know that's with all of it, all safe uh, helis. It's all the same. But uh, so we're like you know I don't know maybe 10 feet off the ground. If I hit that button, it rides itself. Safe holds this heli uh, pretty pretty stable, it doesn't drift too much or anything like that. But any attitude you're in, so let's say you're going down, so they're coming back, it's gonna hit the ground, hit that button. Now, obviously it's gonna drift from the momentum, but you can correct that. But let's say you're going straight down, hit the button. So it's really, really quick and it works really well. So for those of you who are you know, afraid to maybe kind of um, do new maneuvers, you have a bailout and it works really quick, quickly on this model because of how small it is. And the last thing I'd like to show you guys is 100% um, no tail wag. No vibrating, extremely stable. Uh, and here's like a full positive and negative collective. So it's not a powerhouse. Let me go ahead and shut it down there because my battery is definitely getting low. It's not a super uh, powerhouse. It doesn't have a whole, whole, you know, it's not like, I don't know, ballistic, I guess you could call it, but it doesn't need to be. Um, I think the power is absolutely fine. I'm actually gonna throw it to stunt two and fly sport and show you guys some speed. So you can fly around sport. And it is quick. And it, you know, the tail doesn't wag at high speeds. You know, sometimes your gain is too high. And when you're running a high RPM and you're, you know, you're flying through the air quickly, your tail gets that, that wag. Oh, so that is my uh, transmitter telling me that my battery's dead. So I'm gonna shut that off. We're gonna go over here and land it. Wow, it's really telling me that it's dead. It's actually going to LVC right there. Um, so LVC, you know, RPM reduction is gonna start slowing it down. And actually you can hear it beeping at me, telling me that my battery's dead. So um, you don't get much time, that's for sure. Whenever your transmitter tells you your heli's dead, you better land it because I had literally seconds before it went into a uh, low voltage cutoff. Um, but I got um, seven and a half minutes of flight, I think is what I ended up having. I was three minutes and 30 seconds over. So that's excellent. And I was flying around in, you know, uh, relatively easy, but seven and a half minutes of flight. So that's pretty neat. If you have any questions about the Fusion 180 Smart, leave a comment and thanks for watching guys.